okay so we will make use of create next app to create our first next year's website so what we will do is we'll open our command prompt or terminal on windows i have windows powershell so i'm going to use that and i'm going to type in the script npx create then next dash app okay so when you run this it should start a wizard and ask you for the name for your website so here i made a typo so basically it's create dash next dash app so when you run this it should start the wizard and it should ask you the name of uh, your project and then it will install the dependencies and at the end you will have something like this it will ask you to switch to the directory right and then you simply have to use npm run div right and it should start your website at localhost 3000 okay so what we'll do is we will click on the link and make sure to open this particular localhost colon 3000 so let's go there localhost 3000 okay and it should greet you the message welcome to next chase okay if you can see this that means you have managed to install next chase on windows and deployed your first demonstrational uh, startup page on your browser okay so let's take a look at how you can add new page in next chase so first thing let's open the project in visual studio code and here I have added the folder and within pages I'm going to add new page let's name this about.js okay now we will create a function named about and within that we will return let's say about and similarly we can also add a paragraph that says this is about page right and finally we have to export this function export default about right now we can check whether this works or not so let's go there and here let's for about and we have our about route ready so this is about page now next thing similarly we can create a few more pages like let's say contact yes right so for contact what we will do is we will first create function contact then right return div then h1 contact and on next line it's a paragraph that says this is contact page right export default contact right let's verify if that works so contact yes so we have about and contact pages ready after our creation of particular contact js and about js within pages directory in next js okay so let's take a look at how you can add link between the pages in next js so first thing open your project in vs code now let's go to pages like about or contact You'll notice that they don't link to home page so what we can do is we, we can create 
link back to home page and from home page we can create link back to these two pages so first let's go with these two pages thing we have to do is we have to import link from next link right next thing we have to add one more paragraph track and within that we will add the link right and let's see if i want to add link to home so what i will do is i will simply add home right so slash forward slash is basically pointing to the our the home page next thing we can let's just copy this paragraph and let's add the same to about page as well so first thing is import link from next dash link right and then we'll add our paragraph right so another thing we can do is we can check whether that works so go to contact and here see it adds home link that takes to home page similarly let's go with about right it also takes you to about right now here we can modify this and then add navigation to respective pages for that we will have to create layout component okay when you want to add image to pages in Next.js, what you can do is find the image that you wish to add then put that image in your public folder right now what we can do is we can go to index.js then import image from next image right and here you see we have to use image source tag so we make use of image src then go for let's say logo.jpg that we just added make sure to add some alternate text for that and close the image tag right now what we'll do is we'll go back to home page to check whether this image is accepted so it gives error so next image okay so there are two declarations okay so let's see another thing that is missing width and height is also right so let's add that let's go with something like 200 Right. let's hope that this should work and as you can see our image is added so things that we change is one there are double declarations that you need to watch out for so import image next image was already defined in the default template page next thing is apart from adding your typical path to that file and alternative text you have to add width and height for that particular image to appear in your page right so you get the idea how to add image to your page okay so let's take a look at how you can add metadata to next.js 
so first thing let's go to video studio code and let's find our index chairs now here in index page we wish to add our head data right so what we'll do is we will import head from next slash head then we will go to our div class name which says styles container okay if you wish to start from scratch what you can do is remove all of this code and then just start writing your head right and here what you can do is you can add title so let's say title something like okay now another thing that you can do is let's see meta name and here let's see the add description and our description has content that says next chance right and then what we can do is close this tag so this meta tag is closed we can also add other data that you usually use in SEO and that should fill up within this head tag right so you get the idea of basic meta tag that can be used in Next.js site okay so let's see how to add CSS style sheet to the Next.js site so first thing let's go to our Visual Studio code and here as you can see within pages we have underscore our app dot js and it has some default content and also a link to global css right so what we're going to do is we are going to remove this for now okay. if you want you can copy it elsewhere okay. and what we can do is we will add one styles.css so styles.css right and what we will do is we will simply add some improvement to font so font family and let's go with windows default which is going to be secure ui right and within global css we can remove that right so if we remove this it should default to our style css so instead of globals we will simply use styles css right now what we'll do is we will go to and here you can see our fonts are changed okay i have added top, top navigation and name that class top nav next thing i also added this particular style css in app.js after cleaning up as you can see in index.js i have added the top nav and link to the pages specifically home page about page and contact finally it should show you result that looks something like this if you add the content and also adjust as per your design your static site should look something like this